all's fair in love and war, right? War, a trade war, right? A trade war is a war, right? It's just, it's just a war without the guns, right? It could lead to guns, but for the, for the most part, it's just a war, an economic war. It's a piss fight, right? You, you, we don't like your shit. You take your shit and take your shit. It's like the Boston Tea Party. They took the tea and they threw it in the in the ocean, right? That is just, that's it. Here, yeah, British, take your tea and shove it, right? So, China is fighting back, right? So, tourism has plunged. Chinese tourists, uh, according to a statistic, has plunged amid the trade war. Do you know that? I didn't know that. And um, also, that uh, China may shift its, uh, these are the subjects I'll talk about. So, China may shift its production to Russia. Ooh. Is this a backfire? <clears throat> is this the uh, commander in chief, Mr. Bankrupt, uh, leading the charge for this? Does he know what he's doing? Uh, what else? So I want to talk about also the guidelines for ranking. So, it's, uh, again, you're dealing with China. China's a 1.3 billion people, and they have things like social credit scores, right, where they rate you, right? If you want credit worthiness, you better be a good Chinese or, uh, or, or you're screwed. And, and just in the turn of a switch, like that, the Chinese can turn a populace of 1.3 billion people against you in a heartbeat. Why? Because they threaten them, you know, and say, oh, your credit score. Oh, you like American? Oh, you like American? We dish your credit score. We throw you the, right? they, they could screw your credit in a heartbeat. So let's look into some of this, some of this craziness and... Um, so Chinese tourism um, to plunge amid deepening trade war. Let's see how true it is. Travel from China to the U.S. fell 5.7% in 2018 to 2.9 million visitors. Still a lot of visitors, still a lot of students, still a lot of people. I have, I have yet to see a single Chinese in America with any animosity whatsoever towards America. Once you hear, you realize that most of what goes on is propaganda anyway. <laughs> Chinese are not... Uh, I found a good video, too, of actual Chinese in China, <clears throat> young people talking about their view of America, which is pretty cool, right? So a deepening trade war between U.S. and China is one of the main reasons behind the travel slowdown. President Trump began the trade war by first imposing tariffs on China, Solar panels and washing machines in January 2018, and the trade war has since intensified. And we know about the increased $200 billion, uh, worth of Chinese imports, 25%. Uh, it was a jack up from 10% to 25% tariff on $200 billion in, in, um, in tariffs. But what's more important is not so much the numbers, but the, the sentiment in China towards the United States that you're pissing off a very uh, large populace of people and uh, potentially a very uh, large um, market, right? for lack of a better term. Public scrutiny in the United States is not, is not good. I'm sorry. Public security in the United States is not good. Cases of shooting, robbery, and theft are frequent. That's a, that's a big concern with Chinese. Right? I'll play a video. As young people say, oh, mass shooting. Oh, 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 mass shooting, I no go. So, um, so a boycott of American products is underway. Uh, a halt of international travel to U.S. is underway. What else? China may shift production to Russia. Ooh, that's a, a one-two punch. Trump's efforts to force China to fair trade. That's what we do now. We force everybody. You'll take our democracy or we'll blow you up. You take a fair trade, it will choke you. Along with sanctions and other tariff threats against many other nations in the world, appears more likely to destabilize the unipolar U.S. Uh, hegemon that support it. Right? Dominance. I don't know why they use that word. Hegemon. 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 Many multipolar uh, supporting nations are hoarding gold, seeking alternative payments, and creating bilateral trade agreements between themselves in an effort to skirt U.S. threats. That's who we are. We got a bunch of bullies in, in office. Pompeo and Abrams and, and Bolton. These guys are creeps, right? And this is, this is Trump. This is Trump, Trump. This is who Trump is pushing forward, right? 
So let's check this out. Here's some Chinese in their own words. 到美国，你脑海里面第一个反应出来是什么样的形象呢？留学，<笑>对，小美。美国篮球，好运气哈。自由，然后比较具有想象力、创造力的一个国家，比较民主。嗯，呃，还有就是美国总统只要有钱就当了，印象不好，非常差。对，不是我们东方人的地方。你觉得美国这个国家给你带来个什么样子的感觉？这个感觉是怎么会形成的呢？感觉文化比较自由一点吧，可能每个人有好的创意都会拿出来共分享给大家。在中国，可能大家都比较不太愿意去交流，思想比较奔放。I like that microphone. Ooh, I like that microphone. I might have to get one of them little red microphones. It's so sexy. 还有就是像这种娱乐体育方面发展的也比较好，什么好莱坞啊、NBA 啊，穿的话应该就可。See how how powerful Hollywood basketball Hollywood is so influential. That's all. That's what they see. They see the TV set, right? I also like that technology. Oh, I love you long time. 科技方面嘛，因为我们可能身边用的最多的，比如说手机方面嘛，就大家可能用 iPhone 比较多嘛。太霸权了吧，强加自己的观念给人家身上。Always forcing their views. 我觉得这个国家对于世界的贡献可以说是不可不可忽略的，又或者说是可以起到引导作用，是在科技、政治还有这个。Good view. 你如果有机会去美国学习、工作、生活的话，你会去吗？待过啊。我就是不喜欢啊，<笑>难受啊！会啊，有机会当然会去啊。我只会去旅游吧。呃，我觉得我应该不会。不喜欢的可能就是，你也知道，刚发生的枪击什么。Here we go, mass shootings like the one in Vegas。什么的。里面人也比较 nice 的啊，蛮好的。然后就是唯一我就觉得，可能晚上的治安各方面还是有一点点。Oh, we're very friendly, very friendly. 小小的。We love you a long time. 谢谢。你觉得美国安全吗？呃，就最近的来说，应该是，呃，负面新闻比较多嘛，应该不是非常安全。我觉得不能单纯的看一些枪击案就觉得不安全。They're all they're all talking about the mass shootings, man. They're terrified of mass shootings, right? 总体上看应该是安全的吧。呃，我觉得没有中国治安好。嗯。美国从以前到现在没有安全，它的种族问题从来没有解决过。只要讲解决，从来不可能解决过它的枪支泛滥问题。身边有朋友他去过美国，或者说在那边学习，他们觉得还好。但是你看电视上、新闻上，可能又会充斥着各种枪击案、各种谋杀案这种东西。所以说，我也不会觉得说怎么样。请你评价一下特朗普，他比较维护自己的国家内，就是国内的那些民众吧，就是他可能比较排斥一些就是外来的一些人。He doesn't like Trump. Did you see that? Trump. He said. He doesn't like foreigners coming to America. That's what the Chinese think. Just a just a random lot of Chinese think that that Trump doesn't like foreigners coming to America. 是一些就是外来的一些人。特朗普可能给我的印象，我觉得他还是一个蛮有个性的一个人呢。Very interesting. 是有一种怎么说呢？啊，说话还是比较大嘴巴一点的。See that? He said. What did he say? 就是 for whatever reason, he's not very articulate. And he just talks without thinking. True. This is Shanghai, by the way. It's a city in it's a kind of up north China. As from this kind of personality, maybe. 呃，因为看他新闻嘛，他执行力上面应该比较强。因为看他那时候刚刚上台的时候，不是签署了好多新的那种法法规了、条约了什么的，执行力还比较强。但是就，呃，可能做事比较自我吧。就是因为他共。He's a strong on execution, ego. 特党的吧，就比较代表中高级阶级的人嘛，就可能还是以这种。Wants to protect, wants to protect rich people. 利益为主吧。特朗普说，应该中国应该制裁朝鲜。So you get a you get a cross section of what's going on, you know, the people and the minds of the people. Always look to the people. You want to understand the place. But here's what's interesting too. I, I mentioned the threat that China has guidelines for ranking、um, its people in a social credit score. Wow. If you're not obedient, like it's your 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 behavior is tied to your credit rating, right? What you say is tied to your credit rating. 
It's kind of the opposite of what we are, right? Everybody's outspoken. No freedom of speech, right? China's top economic advisors has have has issued guidelines over how to introduce incentives that can boost a person's social credit score. Now, my point is that you could you could see China turn around and say, "You buy American, we lower your credit score." You see how they can socially manipulate, how they can economically manipulate the people like that? Because if people buy American, then they get a lower a lower credit score. Now, am I exaggerating? Are things like that actually uh, uh, legitimate offenses? Offenses? Yes. Outstanding individuals in the system can freely acquire personal credit reports a number of times in a year and freely search information, blah, blah, blah. They will also enjoy fast-tracking services. Here's some of the things, right, that um, keeping trust is glorious and breaking trust is disrespectful, is disgraceful, excuse me. Wow, that's right out of, that's like an animal, that's like a, uh, a 1984 quote. Keeping trust is is glorious, and breaking trust is dis- disgraceful. Uh, trust, truth. I like that. Uh, so, uh, in the eastern city of Hangzhou, uh, pro-social activity includes donating blood, volunteer work, and violating traffic laws lower an individual's credit score. Oh. Um, no-nos include smoking or driving while using a mobile phone, vandalism, walking a dog without a leash, and playing loud music into the public. Hmm. Right? Failure to repay loans. These are the things that are frowned upon. Legal fund collection. Illegal fund collection. False and misleading advertising. Swindling customers. See, that's the perception, right? That the U.S. is, is, is swindling them, right? This is this is this is problematic. I mean, this, that's all. I'm, that's all I'm trying to say is that that these types of things, when you poke a stick <clears throat> at the bees' nest, the bees come out and bite you. Right? And and um, China seems to be the most infl- you know inflammatory one so far. But <laughs> Trump is also antagonizing Mexico. He's antagonizing uh, um, India. Right. So you know, you got you got three trade wars going on. You got you got this right. So you got to be careful. Right? That's all I'm saying is that China is a is a big market, and you, the object is to is to open up trade and sell America as being something something important, something something desirable, rather than something to be afraid of. Right? Be afraid of. You come here, you get shot by a mass shooter, you get uh, bullied by you know by a crazy president. Right? They don't like you. They you know or Right. That's who we're up against right now. So Marcus Conti reporting on the China, the backfiring, China backfire. Kindly become a Patreon and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Marcus Conti reporting.